Hi everyone and welcome back to the Commercial Law School. This week we will be doing another application guidance video. The law firm we're going to look at today is Hogan Lovells, a global law firm. We've teamed up with Curtis Rose, a future trainee at the firm. He's given us his key tips to share with you all that will help you when you're making your application. Just a quick disclaimer, this video has not been released on behalf of or in collaboration with the firm Hogan Lovells. And this is not the only way to approach the application, it is merely a guide that will help you when you're answering some of the questions. Let's take a look at the first question. We are a global firm that works together with mutual respect and collegiality. Describe a time when you have enjoyed collaborating with people from different cultures, backgrounds and personalities and what made the experience so enjoyable? And you have 250 words to write this up in. So when answering this question, you can focus on any experience you've gained, whether that be in some sort of sports club or society, any work experience, or even your seminars. The key competency that's being assessed here is your ability to work in diverse teams and have a collegiate spirit and ability to appreciate the different ways of thinking that happens when you work in a team with different people. So always use the STAR technique when talking about a situation that you've been in, and you can see that on the screen. But in addition to this, Curtis has suggested that for this specific question, talk about what your initial thoughts or observations about the situation were, and how this changed after you interacted with individuals from a different culture or background. Talk about what you learnt, and whether you'd be taking this new perspective forward in future. And then, the key overarching question is, why did you enjoy working in this team? Let's move on to the next question. We set our standards high and we trust our people to hold themselves accountable for meeting other people's expectations. Describe a time when you had to drop everything and raise your game to keep a promise you had made to someone else. How did you manage both this and your other commitments? So the key competencies the firm is looking for here are time management, personal organisation, task prioritisation and delivering excellence. So make sure you're honing in on these skills when you're giving any example. So again, for this question, make sure that you apply the STAR technique. And when you describe your situation, make sure you show what the competing promises were. You can take a moment to pause and read the example on the screen, but you can see that there are two opposing commitments. One being a commitment to the prom committee and to the rest of the school to deliver a prom. And the other one being a commitment to education and to studying for upcoming exams. At this point, you should show how you balanced your commitments and allocated your time. For example, did you do a certain task in the morning and then another task in the evening? This is another very, very basic example and you should strive to be more detailed in your answers but here the person is showing how they allocated their time to deliver on both their projects. The firm also want to see that you went above and beyond to deliver to those who were relying on you. Here's another basic example, showing how the individual went above and beyond to save the day. If you're talking about work you did as part of a team, make sure you emphasize what you did as an individual as opposed to what the team did as a group because the firm wants to see what you as an individual did to raise your game and go above and beyond. You can then end your answer with the resolution. What was the outcome? Was it a success and what did you learn? Here we have another example of this. And as we mentioned earlier, if you can quantify your result, make sure you do so. So for example, in this answer, the person has quantified their result by saying they sold 150 tickets. Let's move on to the third question. Sustaining a successful and profitable practice requires both commercial awareness and innovative thinking. Tell us about something you have done that shows you have a strong innovative or entrepreneurial spirit. Curtis has emphasized that it's important not to get thrown off or rattled by this question. He also said that students tend to think that firms are expecting big projects from students that they can use as examples in this question. However, that is not the case. There are many ways of showing innovation or entrepreneurial spirit in this question. For example, if you ever found a faster way of doing something and saving time, 
if you found a new way of doing an old idea, or if you were able to create a new idea to generate profit, or if you were someone that found a solution for a problem before it even happened. There are many very basic everyday examples you could use to answer this question. And again, make sure you're using the STAR technique. Again, you can use a range of non-legal or legal experiences. For example, volunteering or maybe even part-time work. Maybe you suggested a new idea to your manager that changed the way you did things at work. And lastly, Please detail below any further information that you would like us to consider when reviewing your application in the light of the many others that we receive. What makes you stand out from the crowd? Here you can add anything that you think would make you stand out from other candidates that you didn't get the opportunity to discuss earlier in the application. This could be any notable achievements or any other extracurriculars that you want to talk about. Try to make sure that this extra information that you want to add is relevant to you wanting to become a solicitor. Thank you all for tuning in this week and a special thank you to Curtis Rose for dedicating his time in helping us prepare this guidance for you when you're applying to Hogan Lovells. That's all we have for this week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you in our next video.